Greens running kimono here and well uh, Walgreens is 80% as of this morning. Um, it's a day early, but you know, not a dollar short. I was able to get $50 on the nose of merchandise. I used $50 of Walgreens cash, paid the tax, and got more of the usual suspects. I'll show you some photos too, some other stuff that I was finding at my store. I have the sneakiest suspicion, guys. Um, they're gonna run this sale right up until Saturday, then pack it up, and then it's gonna be auctioned off for people that do bidding on um, you know, big units from stores. My theory, I don't think it's gonna go to 90, just a, a hunch that I have, but you know, I've been wrong before. Um, so we're gonna go through this in a quick second. We have a little Rite Aid haul here, including some freebie candy, toothbrushes, and some really um, inexpensive detergent, like 680 for these three, that's a little something called winning. We have some coupon mail too, I'll show you at the very end. And a weather report for you guys, it is a mild one here today in Michigan, not a single kitten to show you. Hi to my mom, if she's watching, I hope she's having a fantastic day. And um, let's get right into this. So um, this is something I was seeing last week and I just had the sneakiest suspicion, guys. I'm like, I don't think anyone's gonna buy these. Oh, look, it's alive. Because <laughs> these makeup kits are $40 and last week, you know, at 70% off, they were still kind of like, you know, like 12 bucks. Nobody's gonna buy that. But today they were $8 each. So I grabbed four of them um, because I think they're such a beautiful makeup kit. And this Real Techniques is a really good quality. So $8 for each of them. I bought every one in the store because I thought it was really super cute. Soap dish I also bought. And I just bought it because recently I purchased um, some, the day after Christmas, Lush.com, it's like a handmade soap company. They have everything 50% off. Um, so this little soap dish was $1.60 and I just wanted the dish. I didn't really care for the bar of soap, um, but I needed a soap dish for my fancy soap. So I got this for $1.60. What a great price point. No big mystery or surprise. I have a candle problem and to get my basket right to 50, I grabbed two of these and they're $5.99 a piece. The original price point for this is uh, $30 or $29.99, so what a great price point for two of these. My store still had a huge amount of these Yankee candles, but I'm happy to get two more of them. So I think altogether I got um, maybe like 10 of them. I went really crazy with this one set. I just thought it was super cute with the jolly and jingle. Now this last item, it only rang up 75% off. However, if it rang up 80, I think my basket would have been short to get me right to 50, so I'm okay with that. These are 9.99, so I paid um, 2.98 for each, that's 70% off. I mean, if I really wanted to go to the store and cause trouble and say, I me, 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 they probably would give me back that extra like two bucks. But honestly, guys, I used Walgreens cash and everything is A-OK. -okay. I just thought these were super cute, like it's a Christmas card for next year. Peace, love, and free shipping for a, a Christmas card. I just thought that was pretty funny, so I got two of them. So this basket with all this merchandise was like 51 on the nose. Um, I would have been at 49, so that's why. Um, and I just used $50 of Walgreens cash, and how wonderful is that? And then this little guy also printed um, after I paid, so it's like, come back and buy more stuff. So maybe in the comments below, you guys can let me know what you have been buying. I would love to read about, you know, if you've been finding stuff or is your store completely cleared. Okay, the next store that we have is Rite Aid, and um, I'm going to direct you guys to a content maker in the notes. Her name is Super Simple Saver, and she made a video with a couple of these deals, so I kind of got a couple from her, and then just some other ones, uh, just like looking at the ad. Her videos are really different. Um, a lot of you ask me, like, how do I start a YouTube channel? Be completely original, and this lady uses her sense of humor and just a really unique editing style of her videos. Go and subscribe and check her out, especially if you want to shop at Rite Aid because her videos are centered on Rite Aid. It's very easy to watch, short videos, ton of content, and it's a lot of, it's like fun to watch. And she's kind of like, she's very funny. She's a great sense of humor. So you, I think you guys will just like love her to death. So they have a coupon right now um, that was email or in the flyer, which is a 10 off of 40. So basically I got a basket of like 40 plus dollars of merch that include three tides, 
two little candies, and then two Colgate toothbrushes. So just to go through the mathematics of this, these Tides are $11 and 94 cents each. Now this one is a 42 pack. They have one in the same container that's a 22 pack. Pay attention, you're grabbing one with 20 more because you don't wanna like leave the store crying because you got the teeny tiny one. And this is also included, which is a mom might enjoy this and it's a big mama, it's like 59 loads. So it's double the size of the ones we usually get um, for these sales. These three guys at $11.94 times three is $35.82. So I am still short from getting to that magical $40 mark. So I threw in um, two of these that are freebies this week. They're $3.99. We have a flyer $2 coupon, plus there's a dollar coupon from a recent insert. You would pay 99 cents and get back a dollar of bonus cash. You can do it twice per store card, so yes. Right there, I'm right at 40. But this is also a little freebie this week that you buy two of these, you get back, you pay a dollar, and then get back a dollar of bonus cash. So I just threw those in too. So overall, guys, for this basket of the three Tides, two Colgates, two candies, that's $44.80. Got the cashier to scan off of my phone uh, the email coupon, which is a 10 off of 40. I used two $2 in ads for these, plus the dollar coupons from the Smart Source. I had two digital coupons, three bucks for this, three bucks for this, and then one for the January PNG from this. Or alternatively, you can print one out on PNG Good Every Day if you don't get inserts. 100 different ways around it. So um, after all of those magical coupons came off, it was 80 I had to pay out of pocket. And basically what I did, guys, was I just had bonus cash on my store card and I used it. And then I got back $10 for buying 30 of the Tide. I got back a dollar for buying these two, maxed out. $2 for buying these two, maxed out. So after everything is said and done for this haul, $6.80. $6.80 for these three. My goodness gracious, that's amazing. I know that a lot of people earlier in the week were getting the Nivea and a couple other things. My Ibotta rebate was like, it's disappearing in eight minutes. So I said, forget that. I don't want the stress of that. This was an easier deal, meat and potato stuff. When you can get a downy tied this big, I mean, you're just winning. <laughs> and I just love this deal. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go over to Lowe's and uh, look at some of the stuff that's on clearance. This is in the regular section, it's not in the clearance section, and lots of storage stuff, including a lot of these fabric, um, like, you know, little baskets and stuff. That last one was $3 and some change. It was itty bitty, like you could probably fit one tampon and one Tic Tac in there. So even at three bucks, I'm like, it's gonna stay at the store, unless it's like 40 cents, I'm not buying that. Jumping up to $4, this was more of a sizable one, and I think the original price was 12 bucks. So you can see there's some drastic cuts, and this again is not in a section. You would look for this, like you know where you can find the organization stuff, like totes and stuff, that's where these are located. And they're by this company called Allen & Roth. This white one would get so filthy in my house in five seconds flat, so it stayed at the store. Sometimes, guys, too, you make a decision, do you need this or do you buy it because other people are buying it? And I just do not have any room for this sort of stuff. See these magical yellow tags? That's what you're looking for. And some of this stuff was still too pricey even for me, so I just left it there. Um, and make your own decisions. Do you need this? Are you gonna be able to use it for storage? Or are you just buying it because everyone's buying it? And I decided it would be great for a video to give you all these visuals, but I don't have room for this, so it all stayed at the store. <laughs> this was more my speed, these little plastic totes, $1.37. And this was like one and a half shoe box sizes. So even if you have somebody who loves sneakers and wants them all on display, buy a bunch of those for a buck 37. This larger tote that was almost 15 for $9.94, I would love to see it for seven or five, but it's still great. If you're working on your stockpile and you want stuff to keep dust out for certain items, I would absolutely stock up on these. Use an Ibotta or Fetch Rewards gift card when you're there in the store so you're not really feeling this one out of pocket. That would be really super smart. But definitely look in that storage bin container area. 
Now, lots of power tools and other items like that, but I think people buy them all whenever they can find them in their store. Lots of cleaner as well as 50% off. I think with the pandemic, uh, a lot of stores went really crazy with getting a lot of paper products and cleaner. And now they're like, oh, what do we do with all this? <laughs> but even some of this stuff like hand sanitizer for $6.28, since I'm not independently rich, that's staying at the store because... I don't know if that's a joke or what, but that's definitely not clearance in my book. That's like expensive. But um, yeah, um, I think all this stuff will drop. So definitely keep a watchful eye out for it. Um, even this thing, I don't even know what it is. Blast hand sanitize. I mean, if I would have found that in March, I would have bought some. But uh, even at three bucks, when we can get it so much cheaper at the other stores, you just got to make like a little like, is this worth it for me? I'm going to wait for a bigger price drop. So they have these end caps with a lot of clearance stuff, but a lot of these clearance items that I was finding today at Lowe's, it's found in the regular section. So if you have a like an hour or so, just walk around the store. And if you know you're looking for storage bins or whatever, it totally might be worth your while. Right before Christmas, this guy was about two bucks and now it's down to $1.69. Um, it's four rolls of this bamboo uh, toilet paper called Nature Your Nature's Way. Um, it's not moving. And as you can see on the top, it says clearance. Um, I have the UPC if you want to keep watching this one on Brick Seek. But I think one of these mornings, uh, if it was like... <sighs> 50 cents for four rolls. I would definitely buy all of them. Here's the UPC. It looks like a really nice type of toilet paper, but for like a dollar and some change for four rolls, they've got to drop it even more. And the store that I was visiting this morning, there was so much of this, like nobody's buying it even at this price point. And like, look at these rolls, guys. They're pretty sizable, but still the price point for a brand that most of us have probably never tried um, it's not even that baboo uh, toilet paper. So they, they really got to drop the price or do something a little bit more creative for us. It is on clearance. I think it's going to drop soon. And like my local store, they had so much of this. So like if it was like 75 cents for four, I would buy a bunch, but we'll have to just wait and see. And still a ton of Christmas stuff at 75% off. Nothing is budging or moving. I wonder if this stuff will hit 90 or will they just pack it up and send it off um, to like one of those auction sites that do uh, big store clearance? Lots of nice stuff too. Nobody's buying it. So it's just all there and that's low. So if you have a couple hours today and you want to head out there, it might be something to do because lots of stuff is on clearance throughout the store. Guys, uh, last thing that we have is coupon mail. This came from my friend in California, Sandra. She has full inserts up for grabs. These are from the January uh, 10th. Uh, insert so I thought we would go through a couple of them there's too many to go through over there so we're just gonna go through this insert um, and I think she still has these up for sale check her page her email all that good stuff is also in the notes if you want to get in touch with her and righty or Walgreens this week I need to use that one um, and just uh, get in touch with her she always has uh, inserts I think she has some for uh, the next coming week and it's gonna be some fantastic ones and um, yeah, California, it gets here pretty quickly and um, it's just fantastic to get in on some of these deals with these insert coupons. And we're gonna look at a price board here, guys, in just a quick second too. Oh, that's me and my jeans. <laughs> I'm joking. And then there's this another similar one, but this one had Sargento. And Sandra, thank you so much also for this little uh, Christmas bag. I really love it. It's super cute and it's just, you know, it's cutie. Okay, let's go look at her price board. Hey guys, so looking at this, uh, this is the bundle that I was just showing you some of the inserts. I obviously didn't show you all of them because it would have been a 17 hour video, but five of each would be 13, jumping up to 10 at 16. This includes the shipping and those, so it's called the Bic bundle. Um, now jumping into next week, which is the 17th, uh, she has uh, like different uh, bundles for this. I think there's a platinum one and this gold one, but it includes the 50 cent and a dollar off Cottonelle and then some um, Persil. Persil and the gain. So five of each is 18, jumping up to 10 is 26, includes shipping. And then if you go to her link tree, all of the information is there as well. Um, her email's also listed. So if you can't make heads or tails of this, or you're just not sure, send her a quick email um, or send her a message on Instagram. As always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.